So, yes, sir. You, you played the original Resident Evil 4, right? Yes, sir. GameCube? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. GC. Mm. Yeah, I actually got a copy of it up there for GameCube. We out here. Uh-huh. And, dear Lord, what a what a, an amazing game that is. A lot of people now are starting to judge it and say, oh, it's not a, it's not a real Resident Evil game. I'm like, no, it is a real Resident Evil game. Y'all just don't want to accept it as a Resident Evil game. I it, think it, a lot of people would say it's the Resident Evil game, wouldn't they? In terms of the modern play style, yes. It made the game, it took the game out of fixed camera angles and tank controls and instead made it a more personal affair by literally putting you over the shoulder of the person you're playing as. Yeah, it's and, a lot more fast paced. Yeah, it's a lot more fast paced. It has, like, and this is where a lot of people have a problem with it. It's just like, well, there's too much action. It's like, I think in Resident Evil 4, they balance the action and the horror and the suspense out very well. Mm -hmm. Now, I can understand what them saying Resident Evil 5 has too much action in it. Yeah. I, I can understand that. And if they remake Resident Evil 5, I hope that they do it justice by fixing that problem and mitigating it and making it better. Are they going to remake all of them? I mean, damn. It wouldn't made... surprise me if they did because the very mo because r Capcom... It would seem to me they're in a bit of a redemption phase for their stuff. And, I would more or less agree with that. And I think that they're realizing, oh shit, we don't want to... <laughs> Actually, I'll uh, I'll play a clip. It's one of, from one of my favorite old school uh, animation videos here on YouTube. There it is. Okay. Basically, <laughs> this is what this is what Capcom was like after the release of Resident Evil Six. Capcom was like, "Fuck, no." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Capcom was like, "Fuck, people aren't interested in Resident Evil." What That's are we real gonna talk. do? That's real talk. Yeah, and th that was uh, Ego Raptor, his uh, sequelitis series, talking about the Mega Man series. Okay. Yeah, he was talking about like Mega Man Eight or whatever. Is, what is this limp for time? And Capcom was like, "Fuck, <laughs> people are losing interest in Mega Man. What are we gonna do?" Wham! Mega Man X right in your face. That's what they do. They put you to sleep, and then it's like, "Oh, remember this? What you love? Nostalgia? Remember nostalgia?" It's even better now. Yep. <laughs> and. If Jake were here, he would be, like, gushing. He's like, oh, my God, Mega Man X. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's a Mega Man X super stan, dude. That's all he's about. That's what he was talking about last time. Wait, y'all said they killed off the series, though. Are they bringing it back? Did I miss that? Mega Man X, apparently there is talk that the Mega Man series in, in like, the X and Legends series may continue. Because... What they're talking about is they're gonna try and they're gonna try a few things out. Mega Man, if they do Mega Man Legends, I hope they do a full fledged three D platformer. You know that yeah. that is fully fleshed out, and they give that to a good team who is capable of pulling that off. Mega Man X, I think, needs to be like Jake was saying, the same team that worked on uh, Metroid uh, Two: Samus Returns, and. I think it'd be amazing, and I think Jake's right. I think that is a hundred percent on the on the money. I mean, what they did with Mega Man Eleven was it Eleven or yeah. Twelve? Yeah, yeah, what Mega they... Man Eleven. I mean, they brought they brought back the OG Blue Bomber. It was old school and just polished, man. I think yeah. that's what they need to do with X. Just bring it back, just polish it up. Like. Yeah, it just play it safe for your first go around. Yeah, much like how uh, the Crash Bandicoot uh, Insanity or not Insanity. Uh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, the trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, the, you, they played it safe with that, 
And then they did Crash Bandicoot Four. It's about time, mm-hmm. and it was amazing. Oh yeah, it's I really loved good. I loved Crash Bandicoot Four. Yeah, I'm playing it right now. Actually. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's a whole thing with with Capcom. I hope that their redemption phase will fully include the Mega Man franchise, but we'll see. Also, there seems to be a bit of redemption going on with Konami. Konami about time. finally, like they're doing something with the Silent Hill franchise. And they're remaking Silent Hill 2. Yeah. And I'm excited, but I'm apprehensive because the team that's doing it, Bloober Team, don't have the best track record. Ooh, tang. Sorry, yeah. y'all. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> he just had, he just, just had to show, show it off. Wu tang Mando. I know what it is. The but... Wu-Tang and Mandalorian. There we go. Hey. Yeah, you got to rep it. We out here, baby. Yeah. <laughs> As always. <laughs> so, yeah, the Resident Evil 4 remake extended gameplay trailer. We're going to hop into this. We're going to see what they have in store for us. Let's get to it. I'm hyped for this. You and me both, man. Man. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. God, what? How far could he have gone? <laughs> Dog, what? It's the detail. Oh, I love it. This is much more horror-centric than the original Resident Evil 4. Yeah. And I love that. I think it's Anyone due home? to a lot to the lighting. Yes. The lighting, the setting, like, dude. The creaking, the yeah, this sounds. Looks so oh, good. Wow. The atmosphere. Yeah, the everything atmosphere about it. so rich. Everything about it. Oh, the bear traps. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> It just feels scary, man. Yes. And it, it it's a real kind of terror. Yeah. Not, you know, not cheap thrill, not like cheap jump scares. Like it's so prevalent nowadays with most things. Yeah, like that rat right there. I'm not the you know what I mean, but I felt its presence. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Ooh. He don't look too good, Leon. I reach you. What's your situation? I'm getting fucked up out here. <laughs> I'm dying, man. <laughs> it's not good at all. My situation is not good at all. He's like, all right. what's your situation? Dude, I'm fucked. <laughs> Dude, get me out of here. Oh, suck. shit. <laughs> Where are you at? Leave there now. <laughs> no. It's like, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> no. What was that? Ooh. Oh. Great animation. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Homie. Get away from me, Listen, dog. Get him off there. No headshot, bro? President's daughter. Bruce. This is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? Hey, Hunnigan. President's Ooh. daughter. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. They're dead. Ooh. No! Go oh my god! <laughs> Oh, nice. Ah, the village. Yes. What is that he's pointing at? What's that? Binoculars. Holy shit. Oh, it's war out here. Oh, shit. This part of the game is hell. Yes! Ah, uh, they got the, the stun melee. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, no cow? Oh no, not the cow! Oh shit! Oh, that was oh. sick. I guess they're having charbroiled beef tonight. Yeah. 
RIP Cal. RIP Cobine. Ah, okay. Oh, damn! Back heads back. Oh yeah, man! Yeah, get upstairs. Get the shotgun. Shotgun on the wall. Did he not get it? He said he want to handle this with. Oh, oh my shit. god! <laughs> get up out of there! Oh yeah! Oh, he got the shotgun. There you go. Oh, the sound that thing made. That looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, damn. Oh, oh damn. this oh, looks damn. bad. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Get out. Get out. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Leon. That was about death. I oh, can't Jesus. understand his shot choices. Oh, that was sick. Yeah. I'm glad that they had the knife returning, and it seems to be more reusable in this one. Oh. Dude, he does that and it changes up the terrain. Nice. Oh my god, no, he's stuck over there. Oh! Killed that. Ooh! What? Ooh, shit! With the gun? <laughs> that was hard. Woo! That's gonna be something to Ooh. play right there, man. That's. Oh, dude, the chills just from that shit, dude. Ooh. The chills! Man, Bro. there's so much to be said about it. Yes. It just looks amazing. PS5, it, PC, PC? I th it's PS5 and PC for oh, right now, man. from what I understand. Except for the PC. Because I know that Sony has a huge vested interest in Capcom right now because of PlayStation VR. Mm. They're doing PlayStation VR, and I know that they're going to do a VR version of Resident Evil 8 for uh, PS2 VR. Okay. And given how good uh, the PS2 or PS4, uh, the PS4 VR uh, original was good with uh, was good with a uh, Resident Evil 7. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like on uh, on 8. Man. But yeah, I, it's hard to say. I mean, what's the VR experience? Have you played the VR experience? Yes, I like, have. Legitimate? Yes. Like. Uh, I will say Initially, it was a bit rough because I was playing on an original PlayStation 4. Like, I was playing on my OG one. Okay. And then I got a PlayStation 4 Pro, and the and it was so much better on that. The experience was so much better. Uh, I will also say that it's like a late PS3 game in terms of its graphics. Word. But for what it is, I mean, it's a VR... It's it's VR on PlayStation 4 and the experience is still really good. Like you I mean you picking up the phone, you like blocking and stuff like oh, that man. is really cool. So you're in there. Yeah. It's really really cool. Okay. And I'm yeah, still trying to cool. open up my mind to the whole VR thing. I don't know well, if I'm built for that. Well, but. and it's and it it's not for everybody. I mean there's people who can't do it because of motion sickness. I, <clears throat> I know Nick has problems because of his glasses, mm -hmm. but thankfully now on the one we have upstairs, we have a spacer in it that enables it to where you can have glasses, in, oh. and it's a lot easier for him. Um, also, the newer ones that are coming out are going to be a lot more lightweight, and okay. instead of them being... I, I was a very late adopter on the first generation of VR headsets because big, bulky, like... Oh, it, yeah. It, they were just not fun to wear. You can tell it's going to be something, but it's just like it's not time yet. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Let's see. The uh, new. See, I don't know how many iterations of VR we have right now. I'm I'm very uh, out of the loop with the VR. Well, uh, let's see. Where's the. Oh, there it is. An advanced a VR device. Yeah, that's the newer one. That's, See, that looks legit. That's the Meta Quest Pro. That's coming out soon. It has three sensors on on the front, two sensor, like one sensor on each side out here of the visor, and then two sensors as well on your on each Nunchuck. on each uh, hand or handheld. And these look really good. Uh, all things considered, I can't wait to to try it. I've uh. Gosh, and the fact that it looks wireless, that's that's all the better. That's it's huge. gonna be one hundred percent wireless. 
Are, but what is like moving like? Do you gotta walk around in you real can. world? There's actually various uh, control styles you can do. There's the blink one, which basically you hold one of the sticks forward and you can point to where you want to be on the map and then you teleport there. Okay. Then there's another one where you can move with the stick and it, you know, move around like normal. No doubt. And you can actually like uh, lean your head to like move around a little bit like that. Um, and then there's the walking one, which, you know, there's going to be ones where you're playing within a certain vicinity. There's one, it's a great, it's a great demo for anyone who wants to do VR. It's called Shattered Lights. It's basically, what you need is a four by four, like four, like four square foot space to play in. And basically you can adjust the size of the, uh, of the game to like, the your space place. that you're in. Yeah, I feel so that. you can play in a one by one square if you want to and just stand there and just like turn circles, <laughs> turn in circles. But the one that I would say, like uh, having it where you can actually, and you actually like get down and crawl through uh, like air ducts and shit like that, it's a horror game. And uh, it's only about 15 to 20 minutes long, but it is exceptional for its, for its, uh, what it tries to achieve. I see. Okay. Yeah. I, we let Kate, Jake, and all them try it, and they loved it. I have to, yeah, I have to put yeah, it on have to, one day. to, like your first time in VR. Like, oh shit! That'll be that'll be funny as hell. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna act. Yeah, it, but we'll give you like the Quest Two. The Quest Two is the the most recent version of this, and it's lightweight. Plus, there's version there's uh, good uh, like Oculus Link mm-hmm. works really well, and you're able to play without wires or anything like that right yeah it, it it works pretty well are they gonna do re4 on i uh, they VR? they actually read they actually did it resident evil 4 uh the old school one they remade it in vr on uh, the on the, the quest 2 that'd be intense it yeah it was a bit much but i liked it for what it was it was just weird because Every time you did, like, the communication thing with Hunnigan, uh, instead of it being, like, you know, you're on one screen, you're, like, looking into the thing, and, like, she's talking back to you. Instead, it just shows you the two screens of you both side by side, Hmm. like it was in the original game, just right in front of you, and it's weird. It's a little immersion (laughs) breaking. It's just like... Like, Why am I seeing me, too? Yeah, it's like, that makes no sense. But anyway, it's just, that's just what it is. Nitpicking. Yeah, a little nitpick about <laughs> here and there, but needless to say, the Resident Evil 4 remake looks great. Yeah, it's hard. Yeah, and I am excited, and I just can't wait to play it. And, When's it release? Uh, next year. Uh, I think early, yeah, March 24th, 2023. Woo! So it's a little bit of a wait, but... Not too bad. Not No, nowhere near as bad. Oh, gosh, that's like that uh, Star Wars Eclipse game. Do you know how long they're saying that one's going to take? I have no clue. They announced it last year. And they're predicting that it will be released in 2027. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll be there. Yeah, that's a pretty long wait, my I'll dude. See you then. Yeah. Have fun, David Cage. <laughs> that's the guy who's developing it. Him, oh, my God. Monty What's Green he plan on doing? What the fuck? I don't know. I really don't know what he... He sounds like he's wasting money. I'm not going to front. Because it, it, it's hard for me to believe you could develop a game that's going to come out in 2027 that's still going to have relevancy. If it's Star Wars, like if it because it's in the Star Wars universe, unless something drastic happens and just everyone abandons Star Wars here in the next four or five years, could happen. It could. Because, Disney's out there killing it. Disney, good lord, Disney. Ever since they've taken it over, there have been very few things. I'll say this: this way better than the movies. Man, fact. This. The only movie that I would say is salvageable by itself is Rogue One. Oh, yeah. Rogue yeah. One is great. Yeah, I liked Rogue One. Yeah. It, From front to back. Yeah, and But everything around that was just a sad attempt at a Star Wars movie to me. But. It's because they had no overall direction. That was the problem. It lost the core content. Exactly. Because yeah. all of a sudden in one film, it's like, oh, you know... Ray, you know, we're talking about her parents. Like, oh my gosh, who are her parents? Next, next uh, movie, it's like, oh, your parents don't matter. No, nothing that we brought up in the previous film matters. <laughs> also, this dude Snoke, 
you know, he's not he's not important. We're just gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him off. And then the and then the and then you know, Rise of Skywalker. It's like oh, uh, uh sh- shit. What do we got? Luke doesn't Palpatine. care anymore. Wait, Palpatine, what? Hmm? Palpatine is back from the dead, and he's back from the dead. It's like uh, with an army. Uh, of space, what was it? What were they called? I can't remember. Sith of the Sith, like that was, uh, everybody just go from nowhere like, from the is, dead. This is literally my brain was tr- like in the midst of having a stroke. Fucking trash. This is basically what my brain was doing. Like, uh, oh, uh. <laughs> like I'm trying to comprehend it. And the kiss of love come back to life. Yeah, with this kiss of love, and then. You know, it's just like, I kissed you, brought you back. Goodbye. Da, da, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? For nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. I got to like, pull my you, mic like, away. I'm the whole thing with Ray is like, she doesn't have to be in a relationship with anybody. Oh, my God. She doesn't, like, there's no need for a relationship to be shoehorned in in the last five minutes. Like, it makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Jesus. But we're rambling now. Yeah, mate. we are. We've been yeah. We turned a five minute video into a twenty two minute video. This is what we do. This is Off how we topic roll. is our topic. This is how we the roll. rules don't matter. We make our own rules. If you're unhappy about it, hey, it's, it's like whose it line is it anyway over here? The points don't matter. Damn it. Yeah, points don't matter, and neither do <laughs> and neither do our opinions. So anyway, thank you all very much for tuning in. Until next time, I'm Nate. Yo, drone up, man. See you later, everybody. Peace, peace. peace. Thank you.